Yo, what up, though, everybody, man? What's going on? A long time no see. Um, got some Pistons talk. Something actually worth talking about. Um, but first and foremost, um, of course, everybody know the Pistons are mathematically out of the playoffs. Uh, there's no way that they can get into the playoffs now, so... Um, a lot of disappointment, especially with me, especially all the scratching and fighting I did for this squad. I'm just mad that it unfolded the way it did. Wish Stan Van Gundy would have um, sent Reggie Jackson a lot earlier than what he did. Uh, instantly, a lot of us could tell that Reggie was not, he wasn't healthy. We could tell right away. Um, and it overall hurt the team, man. And, messes up your chemistry and stuff when your points your point guard ain't running right you know uh, but even though the Pistons did lose uh, a couple of those last games uh, they they actually made some of them competitive um, so now we go into the draft and Stan Van Gundy I'm probably sure is gonna go after a shooter uh, so we'll see who that is man um, but definitely in between time and, and before that time, I will be, uh, doing my mock draft video, um, for the Pistons. Of course, you know, that's coming. So <sighs> with that being said, man, the Pistons, are they even worth watching? And surprisingly, yes, they are actually worth watching tonight after today, after, um, the updates today, man, the reports that came out today, they are very watchable because we have Henry Ellison starting at the four alongside Andre Drummond. So we may be getting a taste of what the future of this team may look like. Um, man, we've been wanting to see Henry Ellison all year, man. Um, and I'm, I'm really, really happy to be able to watch him play some real meaningful minutes. You know, even though the Pistons are out of the playoff race, uh, the Rockets are still going to play competitive. And I want to see Henry, instead of him playing garbage time, uh, get some real good, consistent minutes. But that's not only the thing. The kicker is Boban will also be playing some serious minutes, man. Uh, we seen him do it one time, and he had some numbers. So, I'm I'm definitely interested to see that he will be playing the minutes as the backup center tonight, um, instead of Aaron Baines. So, um, I hope Stan Van Gundy finishes out the rest of the season. You know, going with the young guys. I hope you get uh, Ben and Jay in the mix as well. Uh, so, I'm not sure if he'll play tonight or not. I just seen Henry and Bobine. Uh, Stan Van Gundy said he's going to try to get them uh, the, between the range of uh, 20 to 24 minutes. Uh, Henry Ellison is starting at the four, though. So I know a lot of, uh, of y'all wanted to see that, and I definitely wanted to see that. I, I've been really wanting to see that, man. Um, but I definitely want to know what we got sitting on the bench, man with our rookies, you know what I'm saying? Before we bring some other rookies in here, let's see what, what the rookies we got on the bench look like. So, um, and you know, of course, Aaron Baines is not going to be here next season. So, uh, we definitely, obviously got to see what Bobon can bring, which some of us pretty much got a, a pretty good idea of what he can bring. He can be a problem, you know, um, both ways, positive, positively and negatively. Um, Sometimes he might be outmatched with his speed because uh, he's not a very fast guy. He's not a sleight of foot guy. But at the same time, um, on the offensive end, he's a problem. It's hard to foul him, I mean, to stop him without fouling him. Um, and even on the defensive end, oh, yeah, he definitely will send some guy shots, you know, the other way or, um, you know, distract the hell out of him. So I'm definitely looking forward to that, man. Um, um, I, I just hope, you know, later on throughout the day that somehow Benajay gets some minutes off the bench. I want to see him play as well. So uh, you drafted him. Let's see what you drafted, man. Uh, 
but I feel like a lot of us got a pretty good idea. So that is definitely something to watch, man. Uh, you wouldn't think nobody would want to watch the Pistons after, you know, not making the playoffs and, you know, all of the things that's been going on. But this will definitely get um, the fan base, at least at home, to watch the Pistons. And, of course, you know, um, you know, when they do play the last game against Washington at the Palace, you know, a lot of people will be at the Palace, especially a lot of the fans that's um, upset about the them leaving the palace they'll probably be at the game so uh, yeah let's let's see what we can get out of these young guys man and get out of Bobon and and let's just go out here tonight man and see what the future is looking like for the Pistons man because it starts with the rookies we drafted already before we even bring another one in here uh, so Reggie Jackson has been officially shut down for the season, which we already knew. I don't know why it took them so long to say that. Uh, anytime you say that a man should have been shut down earlier out of your own mouth, uh, why would you just not just tell everybody, hey, he's done for the season? Reggie Jackson needs to get healthy. He needs to strengthen his knee and get his speed back, man. You know, the details of, of his injury, of not being able to cut, not be able to be explosive, that basically takes away from Reggie Jackson's whole game, man, because that's what type of player Reggie Jackson was, man. Explosive, man. You know, cut you up real quick, get to the hole and score. When he can't do that, man, Reggie Jackson is pretty much worthless. Well, any point guard pretty much is worthless um, without that ability, man. Um, so I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what we can get tonight out these boys, man. So, um let me know what y'all think about tonight's game. What you want to see, man. What do y'all want to see uh, out of these young guys? I'm definitely looking forward to the pick and roll, man. I'm looking forward to the pick and roll because Henry Ellison ass can shoot, dude. So I'm definitely looking for that, that pick and pop, man. Him popping out to the three-point line and drain some threes, man. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. Henry Ellison is a true stretch floor, uh, four, man. So uh, if, Henry, if Henry Ellison show enough promise, man, then maybe we can get um, maybe we can get John Luer ass up out of here because uh, he is absolute garbage cans, man. Um, that guy is just he's just been horrible, horrible. Rim basket ball barely want to hit the rim. You know what I mean? Just can't defend nobody. He's horrible, man. There's no reason for him to even you know still be in the Pistons jersey next season. So. Um, you know, we thought he was going to be something that he's not. And I know a lot of y'all still a fan of, of John Luer, man, but I am not a fan of John Luer. Him and Aaron Baines are two of the Pistons that I do not want to see in a Pistons jersey next season. Um, yeah, him and Aaron Baines got to go. That's just that. Him and Aaron Baines got to go. So, um, I don't know. Let me know what y'all think, man. And let's watch the game tonight, man. Let's watch the game. Let's enjoy the game. We still got basketball. Um, we got our Tigers back, man. Uh, Lions getting ready to unveil them uniforms on the 13th, man. Let's just enjoy it. Let's enjoy it, man. You know, um, let's see where it takes us. So I'll catch up with y'all cats after the game. It's your boy Kings.